Hello, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am having a filming day and I think this is like my third or fourth video that I filmed. And I wanted to do a video this month about my favorite planner tools. Um, you see a lot of people in videos using things and, and talking about things and what they use to make planner planning easy for them. And so I thought I would show you guys what I do. So some of my favorite things, one of my most favorite things that I got into the planner world that I'm really enjoyed is my photo printer. I have an HP sprocket and I bought one of these little cases off of Amazon and it just holds my sprocket. Um, normally I have an extra pack of paper in here. This is the cord to charge it to my computer. Um, and this is probably one of my favorite tools. I kind of feel like planning has become a crossover between um, scrapbooking and memory keeping and planning your life and all those. And I love to add stickers to my planner. I'm sorry, not stickers, photos to my planner but I also do it in my journal. So if you watched my video last month, kind of my planner lineup for 2019, I am using the um, Inkwell Press, just a regular coil round um, flex. And this is what I am using, excuse me, for journal keeping this year. And I kind of flip through it. I don't want to flip too fast because there's some stuff is personal. But what I've done with this is I've I glue together the pages that I don't need. So the goal planning pages I didn't need in my journal because I did them in my planner. And I actually, um, I use a Tombow roller and I actually glue the monthly pages together. So I do the tabs for each month, but then that's it. So what I do is, is I can add photos in my journal and then sometimes I just do gratitude. So this was my new glasses, this was back to CC day, my daughter's for sleepover, things like that. And what I do is um, I'm a little bit behind in journaling. I haven't finished this week up yet. But if I know we have something going on, like we had a field trip this Friday, so I've marked down that I would really like to put a picture from the field trip in there. So I do that. And then I also have these great stickers. I picked them up from Honey Inked. And they're actually gold foil. But they say gratitude. And I put those at the top. And so sometimes it's a photo. Sometimes it's actually three things I'm grateful for. The bottom down here, I've kind of been playing with different things because this is just a journal. I do not plan in this. I do not brain dump or anything like that. Um, I've decided I'm going to use the notes section and just kind of put a Bible verse. And then my weekly focus is just like, what do I want to do? What am I, you know, wanting to work on in this? So I do that. And that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I try to, I put the gratitude stickers in for the month. I don't go any farther. And then, but this is a good way for me to remember, oh yeah, there's, I do have something going on that day. I'd like to get a picture of that and do that. So this is how I'm using my, probably the way I use my photo printer the most is in that way. But I do put pictures in my planner if I want to. So I wanted to mention that too. So there's that. My favorite pen right now is a, I have no idea how to say this. It is a Pentel Slicey. I don't know. It is a 0.25 tip. It is a very, 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 very fine point. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to focus. There we go. Very, very fine point. Absolutely, really, really love this pen. I found it, actually found it randomly on Amazon and I picked them up and then I bought, I got a box of them and I, I really love this. So this is the main pen I use in my planner. The other planner, favorite planner tools I have, I have a Kipling. Um, pen box, pen case, pencil case. I can't remember what this is called. It's navy blue. Um, and I have a big one and a small one. And the small one is what is one I keep in my bag all the time. And I'm going to show that in a what's in my bag video. But I, this is my main one. And what I use this for is this is all of the, if I really want to go somewhere and plan or I'm going to sit down and plan and I don't want to be getting up a lot. I do not have like an office or a place to plan. So I'll either be at the kitchen table or I'll, you know, set up in my bed or something like that. So I always have this with me. I have my planner Kate binder with me. And then I'll have um, whatever sticker pouch is this month's template. Or I'm sorry, this month's color palette. So this month is um, Cinnamon Bay. So I would have this pouch, my planner Kate, 
and this and I can do just about anything that I want to do in my planner. So I wanted to show you what my favorite things are. So at the front here I have some Ollie clips on here and I, I always just have this, I find them very handy. These are my mild liner markers. These are the highlighters that I use the most and on this side these are the ones that I have assigned to my family. So gray is my husband, coral is me, blue is my older son, green is my younger son, older daughter, younger daughter, and then anything light blue is for the family as a whole. Um, music, school, church, home, I don't think that's a specific color. I was using this for sleep and then I have a dark gray and I, I don't know if that one had a specific assignment either. Then when I flip this over, what I keep in here are some post-it notes. And these are post-it notes that I purchased from Inkwell Press. This color palette's a couple years old, but the sticky notes still work. So I always have some sticky notes. Um, these are my favorite tweezers. I got these, they're EK tools, and I think I got these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, and these are awesome for laying down stickers. Absolutely love those. Uh, Tombow adhesive roller. This is my absolute favorite. And I think my favorite is it has this cover. So you can throw it in here and it's not a big deal. Um, this is a Bic Whiteout. And it's one of the smaller minis. And I love it because, again, it has a cover. So it does, my Whiteout doesn't get ruined when I throw it in here, which I love. Um, this is another uh, Uniball Signo. 0.38 pen. It's another favorite. Um, and then I have a palette knife for when I cut washi. EK Tools scissors with a cover. Love those. This is a glue stick I found at Hobby Lobby and it's a narrow long glue stick and it is doesn't have a brand on it. It just says planner glue pen. And I love this because it's long and narrow, it has a cover, um, the glue is great, it's clear glue, so this is one of my favorites. I also have a Tombow Mono Drawing Pen, I think it's an 01. And I cannot get it to focus, there we go, Mono Drawing Pen. And then I just have some of my favorite pens, so some of these like this is a Pitt Artist Pen um, X Extra Small. This is a Micron 005. Sorry, I want to make sure you guys can see them. What they are, if it will focus. There we go. So I have these in there. And these are kind of from bullet journaling. I do a little bit of bullet journaling in my, um, in my planner. I have some sections that I do have that in there. So I... I keep some of those pens with me because I do need them for stuff. Um, I found a set on Amazon of those Pentel Slicey. I really don't know what they're called, but I got some metallic. So I have a gold, a rose gold, and a silver. And I those are fun to accent things with. I've, I've enjoyed playing with those some. I do have a Fiskars razor blade if needed. I love this because it has a cover but it also fits on your on your finger and so it's very easy to control. So this is really nice. Um, my Rotring 0.35 pencil. It is one of my favorites. It's actually a metal drafting pencil and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. There you go. And then I have some extra um, inks. One of my other favorite pens that's always in my bag is this and it is a high tech C Coletto 3 and it has um, I gotta think the blue black it's the navy blue um, it's called cherry pink and a black and they're all 0.3 and I just keep an extra ink in here in case I ever need it but this is my multicolor pen that I keep with me all the time so these two pens are always in my bag and then I have some extra highlighters in here. Um, I have some extra lead for my Rotring. I do have a corner, an EK tool, EK Tools corner rounder, the half inch. I really like this. It locks flat, and then when you're going to use it, it pops open. And then I just press it and lock it down, and so I can keep it in there. And then one of my favorite things I got in a in a pack that I bought is a Pentel um, eraser. It's those white 
erasers, non-latex I think, but it actually has this plastic cover. So when I'm using it, you hold it and then you press in and you can erase and it keeps it. And then you can slide it back in. So I love these just to protect it while it's in there. And that's it. Um, the rest of these are really just in here in case I need them. Um, I don't, this one's for music. Um, some of these are new. I just got a new one. I think that's where this color, these colors, this color, maybe this color came from. I think these are the new ones. And um, I haven't figured out how I want to use those, yet, use those yet. So I have a couple extra in the bottom. But this is what I carry with me all the time. These are probably my favorite, you know, if I was going to say, you know, a planner kit or, you know, that you're going to carry around with you. Um, these are the things I like to carry around with me and I use them. I, I also have right here one of these rulers and this helps with my, the bullet journaling part of my planning. And then I have a couple of these I got from Rose Colored Days. I do put a different, um, I think it's a uni, a uniball in um, refill in it to make it more of a, of a fine point, but these are fun too. And I, I always have one with me just because I enjoy them. I like them. They make me smile. Um, so that is what I keep in my Kipling. So I think between that and my photo printer, I love my Russell and Hazel binders and stuff. The only other thing is I do stamp in my planner. So I wanted to show you what I do for that. And I got one of these pink boxes. I'm trying to show you from the side at Michael's. Might need it if I can. There we go. Got this at Michael's. And this is my stamping box. And what I do is um, when I set up for the month, I stamp. And I, this box has been awesome. So I have some sticky notes and I have some stamp blocks in here. Um, VersaFine Onyx Black is my, is the black ink I love. I have a small one and a big one. I do have some Erin Condren colored pencils and a pencil sharpener. And then what I do, there's some more sticky notes over here too and some washi tape. So when I set up for a new month in my, in my um, inkwell press, I will pull washi tape that I think matches this, matches that scheme. So these are all washi tapes that I have used for this month. Um, I have my stamp block. This is the stamp block that I always use and I just picked it up at a store and I do have washi around the edges. It makes it easy if you drop it to find it. It's a bit, little, little tip if you want to try it. Um, the sticky notes I keep for when I'm, especially if I'm bullet journaling so I can mark things off and mask them off. But this little pink tray lifts out which is awesome. And then what I have in here are stamp sets that I use. And these were my most used stamp sets when I bullet journal. And I don't use as many of these as I used to. Um, I use my, um, the ones I use every single week are my Studio l 2 stamps, which are in here. But I do have some alpha stamps, I have some weather stamps, I have some other things. But these were my most used stamps. I have a, a very large collection of them and they're all sorted into boxes similar to this. And then I have this big case, a big plastic box that those all file into. So all I keep in here are the ones I use the most. And so if I pull this out, I know I can, I can pretty much do anything stamp wise that I would want to do. I have these beautiful um, birthday balloons that I got from Altier Alt Dreams. I have some number stamps here. What else do I have? And I think I also have over here, I actually have some I know somewhere I have some actual balloon stamps. I thought those were it, but those are not the ones I was thinking of. So they may be in a different spot. But I have, you know, the main things that I would need if I wanted to stamp something are right here. And what I do each month is I'll pull washi and put that in the top. That way I always know where my washi's at. This sits in my planner cabinet. I have my washi and I have my stamps, so I know I'm ready to go there. But what I do is I always have a baby wipes and then I have another one of these 
that was empty and what I do is these are like for example these are the colors of inks that I will be using in my February setup so it's the end of January I've pulled these and I've got them together and these will sit here and so if I want to stamp something I can grab this and go down and I'm, I'm good to go. I have February pretty much stamped out and we're going to be going over that in a future video. Um, and then I'll pull the stamps from or the inks for March and I'll put those in there. So this is always sitting together if I want to stamp. I tend to sit down and I'll stamp things and I won't do stickers and then I tend to sit down and do it in various stages over the month but I'm always by the time February will get here I will be completely prepped for February but that's how I do my stamps and those are some of my favorite stamps and, and organization tools I think this would work great even if you don't stamp if you just wanted it for all your planner tools or you wanted like a bucket um, kind of situation that this would work too so um, those and my probably my very favorite stamp places um, are Ink by Jang she has amazing stamps especially if you're bullet journaling, and then um, Studio L2E. Those are my favorites. I do have some from Altie Dreams and Felicity Jane as well, but my go-to ones I use the most right now are definitely my Studio L2E stamps. I use those all the time. So those are some of my favorite planner tools. I hope this was helpful. I can tell it's kind of starting to get dark, and I'm literally sitting by the window. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.